In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to utilize a frame overlay. Sometimes you'll see these called um, distressed edges. Sometimes you'll even see them called uh, masks. I don't really think that they're a mask, but um, some people call them that. They are one of sorts, I guess. And I have here a photo of some of my flowers and um, there are many ways that you can use these frames and so I'm going to show you a few of them just to get you started uh, just to inspire your creativity. I'm going to make a duplicate of it so that we have this one tucked aside um, and uh, that way we can, uh, if we mess this up, we can always have this one to reuse. You can see I click the eye to make it invisible, so it's just tucked away, hidden there in a layer. First thing you can do with these is to move it above your photo layer. Let me turn my photo layer on. And then just simply apply the multiply blending mode. Let me zoom in. You can see what happens to the frame then. <coughs> um, want to point out, let's go back to the normal, that um, we have a grayscale uh, image here, you know, that ranges from white uh, to totally black, and when you're utilizing the blending modes, this first section here, when you apply it, the white portion of the uh, frame is see-through. It shows the image through. And um, so then you have that color burn is pretty cool. So then you have the rest of the where it's a uh, gray scale, various shades of gray all the way to black blending in around the edges. And um, if you wanted to, you could even lower the opacity on these to get um, even different effects. I'm going to go back to the normal. However, watch what happens when you use the second set of these blending modes. I'm going to choose screen. You can see that that is um, making the black portions see-through. And that really doesn't work very effectively because we want the center of our photo to uh, be visible. So all I'm going to do with this then is uh, make sure my frame layer is active and I'm going to hit Control i on my keyboard to inverse the colors of the frame. And now you can see it works and it gives um, the uh, white edges around the, uh, around the sides. And so that's even another look that you can have. I'm going to go ahead and make this a normal blending mode so that you can see what happens when we hit Control i You can see now that the center is black, and so these blending modes here work well with making black uh, see-through, uh, making it uh, the original color. And remember then, these here work well when you want it to blend with the white. <clears throat> so you have to have either black or white to blend. You can try these down here. These also work, but they um, work, uh, let's just go ahead and try one, in a different way. You can see what that has uh, done to the photo. Um, so if we hit Control i that just reverses it, and now the center is white and the outside is black like we normally did. Control i Control i um, We're just inverting the colors. So uh, that is uh, one way using the blending modes. Remember if you want to uh, grab your magic wand and um, select let's say all of the white and um, 
No, that's not going to work. You want to select like all of the uh, black, I guess, and then um, bring up the, I have not played with this yet, so hopefully this will work out. I'm going to click colorize and I'm going to change that to a color and then since we're using the white, I'm going to use this blending mode. You can see then that gives a whole new effect around the photo. I'm going to bring up the hue and saturation box again and change the slider. You can see there's a blue. So I can actually change the uh, color of the frame to other things outside of, there's a green, control D to deselect, and you can see that looks very nice now. So that's another way that you can utilize it by actually changing um, some of the colors. But remember, uh, you can see in my original now that I have the green and the white, but the white is what's uh, blending together with these top portions up here. So you can change the color of these to uh, get uh, effects also. Let's go ahead and delete that one. Give me another copy to play with. Okay, here's another method that you can utilize. Um, once again, we're using that magic wand tool, and I have my tolerance up very high. Um, to get m more of uh, the white and maybe some of the very slightly uh, gray. You can change the tolerance to get different effects. What I'm going to do with this is just click out here in the middle and now um, I have the white selected. I'm going to hit Control J on the keyboard and I've put my selection on a new layer. There's what it looks like. I have only that layer visible. Now you can begin to play with that with your photos. I'm going to put my photo above that layer and press Control G. And, and let's turn on, um, there we go. We turned on a layer. How about this uh, paper layer? That's even better. You can see the effect that that gives. Um, here I have it with white. And so what I'm doing now is I selected a portion of that frame and then I grouped my photo with it to cut it into that shape. And so that is another really cool way um, to do this. Let's see, layer, ungroup, so I can use that photo again. Um, another method that you can utilize uh, real quick is to I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab the black in this particular one and hit Control J now. So as you can see, I have just this outside frame area. And this time, I'm going to add a layer style. I have these layer styles here from Flurks, And I'm going to go ahead and apply the um, purple glitter and put that over my photo don't quite like that. I think I got a little too much than what I was going for. So let me try that again by uh, lowering my tolerance maybe to 75. So I get even uh, maybe, well, I think I still got too much. Let's lower it way down to maybe 40. And then I'm going to grab in here, Control J, and let's apply that layer style now that I have less. You can see that's a little bit better effect um, <coughs> than before. I could even uh, probably get even less, let's see, 20%. See how you can play with this? Put it on a new layer, apply that layer style, there, that's even a better effect. And so that's another thing that you can do to utilize these. And um, so I hope this has sparked your uh, creativity and I look forward to seeing what you can do with these uh, frame files.